It sounds so weird. We're gonna make a press break. Okay. Okay. Now that we got our anger out of the way, we're gonna make a press break. I'm gonna cut this tube at one inch, about. Okay. So, you're probably wondering why I cut it right here. You can see, I didn't have a perfect piece of material to slide over the little press thing. This was actually just barely too tight with it cut open like that and slide nice and easy over it. And then I'll make little tabs on each end and then with a bolt and a nut, it'll be like a press crimp what would you call that Zane what this I thought you called it a, a clamp collar I don't know you, didn't you call it something yeah I don't remember what I called it if you remember let me know <laughs> I don't remember it's friction clamp crimp collar <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be what bends the material, okay? Okay. So I'm going to cut, cut two at 22 inches because that's the most we can fit in the press that we have. So, yeah. I'm using a scribe because this has a ton of milk scale on it and like sharpie just doesn't show up very well. That sounds so weird. Bye. 
So, got this all tacked on here. This is going to be attached to the bottle jack on the press, which will push down and push the point into this, which will be the press brake. So right now I'm just making the top, uh, I'm gonna make a little platform for the bottom, but I gotta weld all this on there. spread apart but it'll be like that with a bolt and a nut and a nut will weld on one side so we can tighten it and it will clamp against the post on the press and I will weld this to the finished top piece of the press brake like that but probably just on you know the, the sides so it still needs to be able to clamp. So yeah.
all I'm doing on this one is I'm just going to weld a base to it. That's it, really. I just took some inch and a half flat bar and I'm just going to do some one inch welds in the corners on both sides. And that's going to be it on that one. Bada bing. Just a tiny bit over 90 degrees. Is it? Yeah. Well, let's say this. Let it know before we do it. It's way, it's it's big. But yeah, I think it is. Three eighths. Three Let's see if this thing can bend a three eighths inch thick piece of plate. Let's see if I engineered this good enough. Well, it did it. Didn't quite get it two ninety, but. That's 3 eighths for a home-built press brake, so I'm pretty impressed. A finished press brake. There's a little block that I made inside the angle. And then this. This is just a stand because it was pretty far down there. And the bottle jack wouldn't extend far enough, so just put that in there to raise the base up. But it's all finished. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the press break video. Um, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment on what you think. Um, it actually turned out really well. It was able to bend 3 8 material uh, better than I could have expected. So if you want a copy, uh, I can also give you dimensions and whatnot and the thickness of the material I use and, you know, all that, the filler metal for the TIG welding. Um, yeah, just leave a comment, questions, uh, be more than happy to answer. So, uh, thanks for watching.